Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. It's the pulp. Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a full coverage foundation routine. It has been years. When I say years, it has been years since I have done a full coverage foundation routine. First one that I did was six years ago. The second one that I did was four years ago. And I feel like I am way overdue for an updated full coverage foundation routine simply because if you guys didn't know, I love working on the base makeup. Because I have my own brand, One Size Beauty, I am here to turn up the base and we are going to be featuring my newest launch available in Sephora, Turn Up The Base Versatile Powder Foundation. I'm excited to show you guys how to use this. It's a dream come true to have my own foundation for the first time in my life and let alone just my own brand in general. It's such a dream come true when I was watching those old videos in the past. It was such like a, a walk down memory lane to have you guys a part of this journey with me. It's so unreal and I feel so loved and I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting me for all these years to me having my own brand now. But without further ado, if you guys wanna see how I get this full coverage foundation routine for all my full coverage gays and girls and guys out there, then keep on watching. Oh, oh, and don't forget, makeup is a one size fits all. Okay guys, this is my skin. There is no makeup, just fresh out the shower. If you guys wanna see how I shave, there is a video right up here that I will recommend on what I use. I have been transparent and I do laser hair removal. If you guys want an updated vlog, I think I'm gonna go sometime soon to do that, but it has really helped my skin. Now let me talk about my problem areas on my face. This is my skin up close and personal. Right here I have large, large, large pores right here that I really, really don't like. I also have freckles and hyperpigmentation right here. I do have pores on my nose that you guys cannot see, but the main part is literally right here on my face. You can kind of see some freckles up here as well, but for the most part, I have been really working on my skincare and my skin to really snatch it. If you guys are men in makeup, I do have still this kind of like faint, very, very faint, faint facial hair hyperpigmentation here. It's kind of like this navy bluish color. And I also have these areas right here. I have a little pimple blue blue over here. For the most part, since I've been doing more shoots for one size, I tend to really go in and take care of my skin a lot, a lot, a lot, because I know video, you cannot Photoshop, unless you're on TikTok and using the beauty filter, which we don't have here on YouTube. Okay, now to prep the skin, I'm gonna go ahead and take my favorite primer ever, if you guys haven't already guessed it. It is the Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. This literally addresses these areas right here. There is niacinamide, witch hazel, and there are little micro blurring spheres in this that we had worked with the lab to put in here to really blur the skin. So literally like how, kind of like Photoshop, it's like Photoshop in real life. You kind of like just want to blur tool this skin right here and it literally kills the shine you can see some shine on my nose I'm gonna do that as well i'm really not joking this really works you can see it's starting to like blur my skin and i literally do this every time i sit down to do my makeup and it really makes my foundation look really sickening and smooth so I'm so excited to show you guys my full coverage scan today. It's been such a hot minute where I feel like I've talked, I haven't talked about full coverage foundation just because those videos were years ago, but here we are in 2021. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go ahead and color correct. If you guys didn't already guess it, I'm gonna take the Dragon Beauty, what was that name again? The Skin Brat Breath Dragon Fire Potion something something. It's her orange color corrector. I love it, I use it. I ask her for so many all the time and I like to just dab some here under my eye and I was scared of using color corrector before because I have said this in my video in the past like I don't want to use color corrector I have no time but it really does make a difference underneath the makeup especially right here because these stubborn areas right here still will not go away just because it's very very faint like the hair that's pretty much where I like to apply it what is so funny about this part in my routine is that I have a literally a designated brush. It looks like a pencil, but this is a limited Sephora collection brush. It just stands out in my kit. I would recommend if you color correct, have a designated brush just for this part. It really helps me speed up the process. I can grab the brush. I can see it easily in my little brush um, canister. And what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll just kind of like 
blend it out a little bit. And I don't like to blend it too much just because I want to keep it in its concentrated area and I'm not too precise. Literally, that's it. And what I like to do next is take the Ultimate Setting Powder by One Size. This powder literally is so fine. And yes, I set my primer and my color corrector before I go into the foundation. Really makes a huge difference because this step kind of fills in the pores and, and locks in the primer as well as the color corrector. And I love that about this step. So I'm just gonna take a very tiny amount of powder and use that same brush. And you just start pretty much here, just buff it in. Nothing too perfect. And then I'll set the under eyes. Not too much. Just you just want the lightest little powder. And then on this area where my pores are, I like to take a little bit more and really stamp it in. And I feel like that step makes it so different. Rather than like liquid foundation, which I'm gonna show you next, sinking into there and filling the pores, I like to take the primer and the powder and really fill it in. Kind of like when you're painting a wall, you just kind of want to make sure it's so smooth and make sure it's ready for the paint. So next, before I put on my foundation, I'm gonna put on my contacts because this is kind of like the time that I do it. You guys like seeing this? What's so funny, I posted this um, application on TikTok. I got roasted so hard because my contacts case was dirty. Dun, dun, dun. I thought it was just like a really funny thing. If you guys aren't following me on TikTok, follow me on TikTok. I like to have fun on TikTok. It's the newest app, TikTok. Okay, so before I get to the foundation, I decided to do my brows, cut the brows, do a very simple smoky brown eye, and now we're gonna go on to foundation. And the foundation that I'll be using today are a few. I'll be taking the Lancome Tint Idol 24 Hour Wear Foundation in 450 suede neutral the naming is so freaking weird and difficult to understand it's suede it's neutral it's 450 i don't know how to say it and i'm gonna go ahead and take my mac full coverage foundation of the color nc45 these two are my holy grail as of late for the past i believe year year and a half two years probably the last four years since it's been four years since my last full coverage foundation routine i love this combination i love this because the liquid is so silky it stays all day this is very popular so amazing i love this and then this is literally for durability and coverage this has been in my very original full coverage foundation routine for many many years six years ago i love it it's so awesome and really quick i want to talk about the brushes that i love using so this one is the tarte brush you can tell it's a little bit bigger this one is the morphe m439 which is a little bit smaller and more dense if i'm in a rush i normally gravitate towards something like this just because it is larger and i like to take a lot of product <laughs> about that much and i'll just go ahead and dot this all over my face and what I love about this is that my skin is already prepped with the Secure the Blur Primer and the color corrector. And what I love about setting the color corrector, you can see it's not mixing with the foundation. That's something that I really want to stress when it comes to color correcting. The reason why I think I was so scared of using color corrector was that is because it would tint my foundation orange and that's the last thing I wanted. But because we set it with the ultimate setting powder, it really keeps it in place. And for the foundation, I don't really like to go too much into the under eyes right here just because I'm gonna use a very heavy duty concealer. But for the most part, this already looks so flawless. And what I love about this brush is that it's so big. It gets the job done so fast. This is just a beautiful, beautiful duo. Okay, so this next step is for those that want that full coverage glam that are like me. The MAC Full Coverage Foundation. I love, 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 love this. It comes in a beautiful pan. I kind of want to expose them right now and maybe say that they are discontinuing this, which makes me really, really sad. I called a few stores and they don't seem to have this. So Mac, what's tea? What's good? Like, can a girl get more foundation? I love it just because the formula is durable. What I don't like is that it's in a pan like this because it's a little bit unsanitary if you are a professional makeup artist, but this is just for my personal use. So I like to take the brush and I love how it fits like literally in here. And I like to just stipple it just like a light, layer on top of like the beard area and it kind of adds that extra 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 flawless plastic barbie doll skin look 
Peter was asking, what makes it unsanitary? Well, if you're a makeup artist and you're dipping your brush in here, you either have to scoop it out and clean it. Unlike a liquid, it like disperses from the pump. So if you guys are confused as to why I said that was sanitary, like Peter behind the camera, that's why. But it's personal use, it's mine. I can dip in here direct to my skin any which way I want. No one, no one is supposed to be using this except me. And don't forget to get back here because this is the dead giveaway for wearing makeup is like, under your neck and behind your ear. Okay, so this next product for under the eyes is so freaking full coverage. It is legit my obsession. And if you guys are full coverage queens, this should be your obsession too. This is the Kevin Acoin Skin Enhancer, an SX09. Again, for this one, the naming is confusing, but this is reminiscent of like a MAC NW25, a uh, number two by Boeing. This is a very peachy, beautiful color that really, really stamps the face. And I love using this like flat synthetic brush and I love to use it to kind of get under the eye and also cut the crease. As you can see, this pot comes with so much product, it's ridiculous. Just because they're so generous with the product in here and it's so full coverage, I just like to take so much of it and just go under the eye. I'm like literally obsessed with this product. And if you're watching and you love playing with your makeup look, consider try switching up the undertones of your base to potentially complement your looks. Like for me, I like more of that peachy rose undertone sometimes under my eyes, so I go for something more peachy. If I'm probably doing like a green or a yellow look, I may go a little bit more yellow under the eyes. This happens to be a color that I've just been going to for that nice, peachy flesh youthful look, but everyone's different. I mean, I've certainly done more yellow tones under my eye, and right now I'm doing more of a peachy salmon uh, warm undertone under my eye. This right here is my favorite part with this concealer. I'll go ahead and take it really close and snatch the eye right here. Look. Boom. So freaking fierce. And then I'll just pull it down and I won't really blend that line just because that's what my look calls for. And same on that side, love that for me. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that down. Oh my God, I'm probably gonna get so red for doing this 2016 technique. I know the new ways to do a little bit of concealer here and on the outside. This just happens to be my preference just because I like this look. And of course, this is obviously a full coverage makeup tutorial. If it's like a TikTok, like no makeup makeup, then I'll probably try that technique. But this is what I love so far for my specific look. Don't forget to do the little sunrise. Now for my chin and my upper lip, I like to take that same brush just because I don't want it as highlighted. I just want like a little subtle look. And I like using that concealer here, although it is very heavy and we use full coverage, the liquid Lancome and the Kevin Aquan. There's so much facial hair um, in here. I love how it just covers this whole area. And that allows my lip uh, colors to stand out just because everything is so covered under there. I have received DMs from you guys saying that um, if you're a woman and you have more hormonal facial hair, I completely understand. And I actually love that you guys have shared that with me through my DMs and comments because it really helps me feel confident in sharing these techniques with you guys. Looking pretty flawless. So next I'm gonna go ahead and take the beauty blender. And y'all know the drill. We're just gonna blend this like so. I like to first start with the edges right here and really just go in. I'm gonna get a little bit of help from this hand mirror and go really close the lower lash line, but I'm not gonna touch the um, straight line that we worked ever so hard on. I'm just gonna go over this to make sure that it's an even layer of concealer. So this next part's a little bit tricky. You wanna take your beauty blender, kind of work right in between the brows and get as close as you can. I'm not one to conceal above the brows just because it takes too long for me and it's not really, doesn't really make a difference. I know some people like to, to cover above there, but this works just fine. So the most important thing to me is making sure that the concealer blends in seamlessly into the foundation. So I'll like go back and forth between my brush and the beauty blender to make sure that they're meeting appropriately and that it's a seamless transition. But for guys, this is like my favorite part of makeup is turning up my base. 
All right, guys, so next I'm gonna go ahead and take the ultimate setting powder by one size. This powder literally is so delicious under the eye. It works so well in smoothing and securing and blurring. Um, I like to first go ahead and take a beauty blender and go in under the eyes and get as close to the eyeshadow as possible and do like a light coat. And then I'll go ahead and I'll tackle the nose and then I'll tackle the middle of the forehead. You know what guys, I will say RIP to my airspun easing days just because that one compared to the ultimate setting powder is really really thick and heavy but this one gives that hd camera effect this would look so beautiful for a photo shoot it's very photo friendly and what's awesome is that it makes your makeup last for so freaking long so if you want something a little bit more heavy duty take a puff i do have a puff by one size it's the ultimate puff for the ultimate powder there's a flat edge here so if you wanna get in and carve your cheeks, you can. I do love this powder so much. I really hope you guys get to try it. We do also have travel sizes. So this really, really, really works so amazingly on the skin. And it wouldn't be a Patrick Star video if I wasn't to smack a bunch of powder on my face. <laughs> Okay, you're all probably wondering how I get all this baking powder off. If you guys are new to my channel, I've been doing this technique for years with foundation powder. This really takes your base makeup and takes it to the next level, hence turning up the base. This is my newest powder foundation, and I'm gonna go ahead and take this powder foundation in the color medium five. And what I like about these is that they have like their little undertones indicated back here. It's medium five golden. If I have a spray tan on, I will go with medium dark six, which is more of a golden olive, G-O. Aren't the names just so straightforward and easy? I love that. So I'm gonna kind of mix between these two because my tan is kind of coming off. But I like to take this powder bronzer Milani brush right here, fits so nicely. And you see right here, all this powder, just start to buff that in. It's gonna get rid of any of that setting powder residue on top and it just adds like this beautiful blur to the skin. If you guys even wear natural makeup and you're just watching this to get satisfied with someone else wearing a whole bunch of <laughs> makeup, this is so nice on any skin. If you're mature, if you're younger and you wanna wear something a little bit more simple, if you are wearing a mask and still wanna look nice, a little bit of concealer with this would look so beautiful. This powder is bulletproof, blurring, buildable. It's a medium to full coverage and it's literally my obsession. I could just dust this on with a little bit of the Secure the Blur Primer and I'm good to go. I should probably do a tutorial like that. I can't believe I have my own powder foundation. So taking this and really focusing it like on the areas right here, really kick it up to the next level. Look at that. This is just so gorgeous and my base is pretty much done. I'm gonna show you guys another technique too that I love uh, to kick it up to the next level just to show you a little bit of the versatility. I'm gonna go ahead and take a lighter shade in the color Light 5. It has neutral rosy undertones. And I'm gonna go ahead and take that same beauty blender, dip it in here. This part is literally for the full glam queens only. And I'm gonna go ahead and take that and stamp this under. And I love how this doesn't look cakey at all. It's so micronized, it's triple blended and it's so beautiful even under the eye that it just gives that full glam look and when I tell you guys this is a must in the Patrick star face routine it's literally a must so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing like the center of the forehead down the nose right there on the chin and that should complete my full coverage foundation routine featuring my turn up the base powder foundations which are in store in Sephora now. Definitely grab them. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my eyes, my contour, bronzer, blush, lips, lashes, and I'll be right back for the finished look. Everyone, this is my finished 
full coverage makeup tutorial for you guys. I really went in depth and showed you guys how I prime, color corrected, foundation after foundation on concealer, on baking, and finishing it off with the Turn of the Base Versatile Powder Foundation, which is out now in Sephora and OneSizeBeauty.com. It doesn't feel heavy. It just feels so good to have a full face of makeup on. I feel so glam. I feel so beautiful. And that's what my channel and I'm all about. Makeup is a one size fits all. It's for everybody. I hope all of you out there are inspired to tackle your glam, customize your glam, customize your beat, any which way you want. And I hope any part of this video or any of my videos, you're able to take away a little bit of something to implement into your own makeup routine. So that being said, go on my love and beat your face to the ground. I love you guys so much. If you guys want to see more videos like this, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to follow me on all social media, Instagram, subscribe, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok. I love you all so much and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.